Stand up for us, man. Where am I being placed under arrest? Uh, I was not issued. Uh, I, was, I was not warned. Yeah. From Trump supporters in North Carolina. Uh, I was not informed by anybody who owns the property. And he's armed. You need to disarm him, officer. Fully armed and in tactical gear. I'm 100 feet away. To this raging idiot in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Thinking he is law and order while committing a crime. or racist sheriffs and racist foot soldiers pepper spraying voters at polling locations. I'm urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully. But then again, you can't be surprised. Proud Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. When this power hungry SOB calls for these exact actions. Election night may have come to a close, but the ramifications of a Donald Trump presidency, the right wing Spider-Man meme of seeing themselves in white supremacists and embracing of conspiracy theories show just how far of a divide there is between the morally sane and deeply disturbed. The guy we showed in the first video named Justin Dunn voted at a polling site and intimidated voters. Thus, the police were called and he was arrested. We should not be taken off guard by these operations. They are not isolated incidents. Four more years! Four more in Fairfax, Virginia, an early voting site was inundated with Trump supporters. They even formed a line to intimidate voters when pizza it broke. A North Carolina man was arrested Sunday in Washington, D.C. after a shooting that he says was motivated by an internet conspiracy theory. One man drove from out of state to investigate the fake story promoted by the President of the United States when he railed about an invasion of illegals at the southern border and armed terrorists heated POTUS's words and killed more than 20 people in El Paso, Texas. Yeah, remember that? When coronavirus came in, Trump targeted China and used racist language, which his supporters used to target Asian Americans. UN officials concluded hate crimes against Asian Americans reached an alarming level. Jeremy Lin, who rose to fame in the NBA with the New York Knicks, called out the president directly on social media. Caesar Sayoc, the man who sent pipe bombs to Democrat politicians and members of the media, was inspired by Trump, even calling him a surrogate father. He defended a white supremacist terrorist in Wisconsin. Trump was almost peeved that the kidnapping plot of Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer did not go through. Two Boston men even invoked Trump when urinating on a homeless man. They also beat him with a metal pipe. In response to the news that the Boston assault was inspired by his rhetoric, Trump did not denounce the violence, instead calling his supporters passionate. I think that would be a shame. I will say the people that are following me are very passionate, he said. They love this country. My point being, from voter intimidation to the violence, clan hoods are no longer needed. Instead, the MAGA hat is the symbol of hatred inspired by the number one national security threat of this country, the president.